physics, mathematics and physiology, it is what we will talk today with you. Hello everybody, it's the whole universe, hope everything is fine and I'm a wretched man who brings value to my own experience. And that I decided from now on we will learn some of this science fields of physics, physiology and also mathematics because it is something fundamental, something basic that we should learn in our life. And uh, the most fundamental it is love and after that it will be physics, physiology and uh, mathematics, okay? And uh, why do we learn it? Because I want to improve my skills in it and also I have some knowledge in it because I was studying some technical stuff before and I have really good knowledge about it. So I don't, I can't say that I have super mega a lot knowledge and I am super magister and master of this all and uh, everything but I want to improve my skills and the more time I invest in it the better I become in it too and I want to visualize it to make it more understandable to me and also it tells it is uh, created for you it is uh, the most purpose because uh, if I would do this for myself I could do this alone without recording video or something then I record it with you guys and uh, we do this uh, for you and uh, we will do some drawing graphics and uh, etc I will try it first time it is like our first episode of show and I'm so excited thank you for joining to, to us and uh, it will be amazing First of all, let's start with uh, with uh, choosing the color. <laughs> yes, it will be amazing. We'll choose the color. Color has some... Look at this. Uh, they have features. Features are written in numbers, by the way. It is... Uh, f we need to... We need to look at this this way, too. Okay, we have... Okay, amazing. We drew it and also we should pick something like this color. It will be gray. Grayish and RGB is 60X, 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 uh, 68, I mean. Okay, it is here. Okay. Yes, first of all, let's draw a graph, a function. As we know, we, ha we have X and Y. X is, is abscess, Y is ordinate. And we can draw a triangle for example here and each section of triangle will i mean that each point of triangle a b c will have the specific specific coordinates x a and y b or uh, i mean y a yes and also b will have x b also y b it is easy it is a math class of school work i think so i mean that in your school you can learn it and x c and also y c amazing we learned it and by this things we can draw it by by the way if it will be look it is one point here we can draw it this way yes and this and here is another, it will be... Ta -ta 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 -ta. I imagine that we drew it like differently. I imagine that we will draw them differently in a specific way, like here is will be A. Yes, and it ha has his own XA and also YA. Good. Also, we have the specific thing like, let's draw it again. Draw it. We have B, it will be here, somewhere. We don't have scaling, but it is kind of intuitively we draw it. And it has his own Y, B, and also X, B. Amazing. And also, we have specific graph, one more. And this one graph has his own C. And here is the CX, and I mean that XC, C, and also YC. Yes, and here's Y, here's X. Amazing. In Russia, we call it YEX. Okay? And if we will connect them, we can draw also A and B, and it will be one line like this way. Also, we can draw C and B, and it will be this line. And we can draw also the line of A and C, and it will be this one. And you can look at this, and you can imagine that it is, again, C, B, it is A, 
C and also it is our AB in our current system. It is amazing that we can draw and also we can find a Pythagorean theorem here because it is the this triangle with right angle here and we can say that theorem of Pyth Pythagorean theorem for it will be here. It will be a b squared plus a c squared equals b c squared. It, and it is hypotenuse and uh, another in Russia we call it cut it. But in your language, how do we call it? Cut it. It is lag cathetus. Yes, cathetus you use it too. And it is good. And amazing. We learned some basics of the math of... Uh, how to say it? Uh, rectangular coordinates. And by the way, we can pick here 0. It is the starting point. 0, 0, 0. Also, here is... Ah, here we should, shouldn't have it. Also, let's create one more. They could be also A, B and C. They could be vectors. Look at this. Vector. It could be vector of this one. It could be vector of this one. They could be vector even of this one. Or vector of this one. Or vector of this one. It is different types of vectors. And they have the starting point. They have the ending point. And these vectors are like from point A to point B our train went. And here is the A, here is the C. And they are going to this point and it is amazing. And also they have coordinates. Again it is X and also it is the Y but it is for A. A, A. And it is for C and it is Y for C too. And how to calculate the all things that we have? Like what's the measurement of this dude? What's the measurement of it? It will be this way, I think so. Let's let's think about it. We have I imagine right now that we have two points. Yes? It will be here and here. And also they are here. And they have x. And they have the... Here it is our... What? Oh, I know. I know. I know how to calculate it. Maybe. And here is the... I mean, it will be 1. Yes, okay. And here is 2 and 4. With our... Thinking, we already can say that the length, length of AC will be 2. You can say it easily. Yes? Look at this. But how to say what's the length of it with a form of formula maybe? Let's try to let's try to show it. Let's try to make it from this thing. It means that 4 minus 2 and here is 1. But if it will be there, how we will calculate it? So, let's do this. Let's imagine that we have x xc minus xa and also we have it squared and here's the squared thing I mean root and also this and plus I think that here should be the y c minus y a squared let's calculate it together and it will be AC length. 
and let's see it will be 1 minus 1 it is 0 0 squared plus 4 minus 2 it is 2 2 squared and here's 4 here's 2 and it is good good working we understand that for this experiment it works but what if it will be this way I imagine another numbers yes and another things I imagine that we have the line of it yes and here is will be another vector yes like it will be we can call it c vector for example c vector yes and what's the length of him let's try to calculate and uh, we have here is his points y1 y2 and also here is x1 x2 let's try to calculate ah by the way we should write them with okay we will do this another way it will be the 100 yes and it will be with yes it will work it will work it will work it is 100 will be it will be how much it will be 10 it will be 10 too it will be 90 and it will be then 90 minus 10 squared plus 100 minus 10 squared and it is all and plus here too and it is all with a root and let's calculate it it will be 80 squared plus 90 squared this way and it equals and let's calculate it it will be 80 on 80 it is 640 640 plus it will be here 64 plus 108 1,008, oh, oh, 108, what I said, <laughs> I mean that, uh, ah, yes, 108, uh, 8,200, and uh, it, it will be 14, 14, 500, and it is with this form of root, 14, 500, and it is rooted this way, I think so. And two. And uh, 120. Hundred twenty. Let's do again 120 on himself. Yes, it will be the same. Good. And let's find out on internet, were we correct or not? Vector, vector length formula. And we'll find out it. Yes, yes, it's true, guys. It's really true. Ending points. Ending points and how we calculated it by Pythagorean theorem again. If we will draw it as a triangle, then it will be this. Good. Really amazing. Nice. So we right now know what is vectors. It is coordinates. Coordinates. And here's the vectors. Amazing, we know them. And uh, let's dive into another things that we will draw today. We will draw shapes, a little bit of them. 
or maybe not even shapes, we will draw this. Do you know what is it? Yes, need to do a parallelogram. I imagine that they are parallel, these parts. And it is a plane. Plane we have in zero dimensional, in, I mean that in one dimensional size or zero dimensional, one moment, one dimensional line also. We have dots, we have, I think that uh, one dimensional, one moment, need to google it and it will be this way, plane. Wikipedia because I need to figure out because we have uh, dots we have lines and then will be planes plane plane geometry let's open it two is a flat two-dimensional that extends infinitely far yes a plane is the two-dimensional analog of a point zero dimensions a line one dimensions and three dimensional no space okay ah okay i think that uh, i said it correct yes two dimensional analog yes it could be yes 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 we have planes on two dimensions and uh, on three dimensions because it has it could be like imagine that we have 3d space 3d dimension i'm not super good in english vocabulary because sometimes they are different from russian but concepts the same but kind of sometimes it is uh, in russia we start count from the first floor not the from zero i hope you understand it yes we have dots of it and i imagine that it is flying somewhere here and actually i imagine that is kind of look if we will draw it it could have a points like i imagine that it is c x z y yes and we have something like this continuous line of z here's continuous line of x and of y and it locates in my imagination it could locate it could be located on the surface of the x plus x plus y and minus z minus that dimension we can call it a cube if we can imagine that it will be kind of imagine that there is a cube yes and it goes this like, parallel and it goes this way and it goes this way too okay then it will be somewhere there and here's to going and imagine that there is a cube kind of look we have cube here it will be then x here is the cube section we can call it plus x plus y plus z here is will be the section minus x also plus y and uh, also we can look kind of be on the low and it will be y minus okay yes but it is kind of for another thing and uh, this section it is minus x plus y and also plus z and this plane is locating in a section of plus x plus y and minus z in my imagination it could also be kind of in this section too we can imagine yes but we can surely say i think so yes 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 we sh we can surely say that it is not locating in a 
minus x. Because in my imagination at least it works uh, that minus y it could be locating. Like I imagine that this dude he is locating kind of there. And I imagine that he is kind of far 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 away. Like I imagine that it is goes it is y. Let's let's draw one more thing. I imagine that we have y here. Yes? And he is so 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 far away from here like with a bigger angle even. I mean that smaller. And he is locating so or one moment. Somewhere there. Far, far, far away. And it is minus y, actually. Like somewhere below. Maybe. Like, can we see it this way? I think that yes. Like he is locating super far away. Would be there. Need to think about it. Guys, if you are super smart, let me know. Because he could locate in Y and also in X. So when we look at the picture, actually where he is locates. Look, I am here and some point... Yes, I can look in real life. In real life I look from the, the side and I can see something. Like super below, if I will look from the upper side, it is a point of view that I took. It is our like watching where we watch at the picture. I imagine that we are standing here. Yes, and we are looking at the picture. Or we are looking from this perspective. Like from the upper perspective, we can look to the lower size. I imagine that there are hands and I look from this upper side. And I can see that something is appearing there and it's below. Yes, 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 it works this way. I think so. It is the watcher side. Also, if you know how it is uh, really, it is our watching side when we watch to the picture. It is our point camera. I imagine that here is a camera like this way. Yes, and we watch below to this, to this, to this, to this. And it will, it could be, he could locate in a section what uh, here is the Z yet. Yes. But why is it locating here then? It should be located there. Can we imagine it? Okay, it could it is 100% could locate in a x z minus x plus y plus but could it locate be located in minus y it is the question plus x and plus I'm, i mean that minus minus that could it be located there need to find out guys i think that yes I think that yes, yes, because one plane could be located, look at this picture. For example, we drew something there and we drew this. This thing could be locating in a y, x, z. We can look at this, that it could be located in y plus x plus z plus and also it could be located in y plus plus x and minus z 
Yes, 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 yes. It all depends on the perspective. It's the points that we took. It is the section. Yes, 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 guys. I think so. Because we can look through the... It is all about the viewer who watches. And if he watches from this, then it could be, yes. Yes. Here are the lines. Yes. So, thank you a lot for watching this video. Need to learn more about these coordinates. I, I will do this as a, my homework. And if you know, could it be located there? Let me know in the comment section below. I think that yes. And thank you a lot for watching. It was good to draw. To make it happen. Let's find out it. And uh, improve cell daily. Go forward. And uh, everything depends only on you. Learn new stuff. Learn 3D vectors. Learn planes and other things. Let me know in the comment section below what would you like to learn next time. Next time we can learn a little bit of physics and uh, also physiology. And uh, see you next time. Be cool. Bye-bye.